I would have won a different tie, but whatever. Our December gala is about bringing home a silver trophy, but there is another large item that's earned that day, but it's earned not just on the field, but off the field. And that's what Connor Heffler of the St. Augustine Saints did by helping raise more than $4,000 as part of the Touchdown Against Cancer campaign last fall. But the man's not too bad on the field either. First team all defense selection at linebacker, and he is here to tell us which school will be blessed with his services for the next four years. So here is Mr. Connor Heffler himself. <laughs> Good to have you here. You have a crowd back here. We don't see him yet, but say, <laughs> greet him. Yay. <laughs> They're back there. Thank They're you. back there. We'll, we'll get to them. Okay. So your team goes to the, into the open, the semis. That's great. But what you did for people who are in that battle against cancer, that's going to live on for a long, long time. So how did that fundraiser change you, change your spirit, help you evolve? Um, it definitely helped me um, in all areas. Uh, made me realize that I'm more than just a football player. Um, and off the field, um, it's good to participate in service opportunities. And it really got our team involved in, uh, with Carter, Carter Santos, who was diagnosed with leukemia. And it really gave our team a goal to keep scoring touchdowns, too. So it was good. Gotta love that. So right in front of us is the Admiral's Award trophy, as you can see here. But this obviously is not its permanent location. It's not <laughs> left on these grounds. You have it at home. Let's take a look at the setup, I believe, where you have your uh, trophy right now uh, when you take it back home. Uh, why don't you describe the scene for me? Let's go ahead and show that. Let's see the scene. So uh, what was your idea for the design here, the feng shui? <laughs> well, believe it or not, it was just set up like that. Uh, I didn't do any decorating before, but... Um, that's where I usually put all my trophies from uh, just the sports. I played a lot of sports uh, my whole life, baseball, basketball, soccer, football. I played everything, so that's just where I keep everything. What's your favorite thing about being a linebacker? Um, I like to hit people a little bit, but um, I'm definitely a physical guy. Um, I'm kind of a different person off the field. I try to turn into a more aggressive person when I get on the field and when I'm off the field. like um, An just, incredible Hulk thing. Yeah. Exactly. Got to like it. So yeah. you've done a lot of college visits. I feel like every week I look <laughs> on the Twitter and you be putting on a new helmet from a different school. So I want to know, what happens to all of that stuff? Do you have just a pile of stuff in your house now from all these visits, <laughs> holding this stuff up? Well, um, I do. I have a lot of gear, but um, it's good to have. It's good memories. So I think I'll keep it because I really appreciate all the coaches who have recruited me. You saw a lot of interesting places. What, what states did you get to travel to? Um, I did the whole back east trip. I went to all the Ivy Leagues. Um, I went to Pennsylvania. I went to Philadelphia. Um, and I also did some local schools. Wow. So it was fun. Very cool. Good time. So one thing we have to talk about is your family and how they tie into your life. I find it remarkable. I want to start with your mother and your father. Let's go ahead and throw this pick up. And you tell me, how did your mother and father meet? So it's a funny story. Uh, my dad actually played football at Saints, and my mom was a cheerleader at OLP. So <laughs> it's a pretty funny story. I'm kind of like a legacy at Saints. It's pretty funny. So they met in high school. They were high school sweethearts, and um, it's an awesome story. I love I love how they went to um, to my high schools and. It's really cool. I love it. I agree, too. Now, your parents are cool. They certainly look cool right there in that picture. <laughs> and they're still looking very cool right now. Let's go ahead and see them right there. Go and look in that camera they're right in front of you there. Um, Julie, what is it like for you to be a part of this scene? Oh, um, this is great. I'm, I'm proud of Connor. I, I'm proud of, you know, his accomplishments at Saints in the classroom on the field. And... Um, Truly, he's given everything for four years, and he made his decision on his own. He was open-minded. We looked all over the place, and when he found his home for the next four years, he was um, just completely ready and ready to commit. So I'm proud of him. Dad, you played football. You were a running back, a linebacker. So who's the most talented uh, football player in the family? Well, definitely Connor. And my older son and my younger son here, Justin, um, but his, his, his their older sister can play as well. She's a very good athlete, and her name is Caitlin. And um, <laughs> basically, um, I'm 
I'm sort of the um, last string in the family now. <laughs> we'll, we'll call you the coach. How's yes, that? Exactly. Now, I'm glad you brought all those siblings up because I actually want to talk to you about your siblings. I want you to explain. Why don't you start with your, uh, with your brother Andrew? Talk to me about your three siblings because they all tie back to sports. Uh, in your entire lives. Go ahead. Yeah, well, it's definitely a competitive household, as you can probably notice. Um, sports is just kind of built into my family. Uh, my brother played football at Pomona Pitzer. He was a D lineman, and he played at Saints, too. So he's been my mentor for my entire life. I work out with him. I call him on the daily, and um, he's just the best older brother, and I couldn't have done it without him. And your sister? And my sister... She goes to the University of Alabama, and she's really been getting into sports broadcasting. And it's actually been blowing up, and it's, it's really cool to see her succeeding. Um, she has a new show called Bama Network that she's starting up. And, um, and there's your really brother cool. right yeah. here. Yeah. He actually was up for play of the week back in the day. Yeah, Justin, he's a little baller. He'll be, he'll be good. Um, he's going to go to Saints, too, so it's good to, it's good to have him there. Okay. I'm glad. So it's now the time. Connor, the floor is yours. Look at the camera. Where are you going? <laughs> so after a lot of consideration and a long recruiting process, uh, I'm really thankful to have found a home at Cal Poly. There it is. There you go. So you've made the choice. You're riding the whip. I like this. <laughs> what made you want to go to San Luis Obispo? Did you like the mountains? Did you like to have a little beach in Pismo? What would you like? <laughs> well, don't get me wrong. The, the campus is amazing. Um, definitely the education. Uh, when I was looking, I knew that the academics were a priority for me. And also the people there. I believe that the people really make up the, the school and the football program. They have a new coaching staff coming in. Um, coach Sherritt, the linebackers coach, and Coach Baldwin, their head coach. Um, I love the culture they're building up there, and I couldn't, I couldn't have it any other way. There's a lot of San Diego people that have gone up there. Um, we've had Silver Pigskin finalists who have been interested in being up there. Did they talk to you about the San Diego ties at all? Um, a little bit. They definitely want to continue uh, with the San Diego ties, so I'm happy about that. You should be, sir. We're very proud of you. Thank you so um, much. You've played with honor and grace. You certainly earned this award, and you certainly <laughs> earned the trip. Can't wait to see you uh, chin the moon and ride a custy, because that's the slogan of Cal Poly. Just trust me on it. Back to you guys. Connor! Yeah, Alex. Yeah. 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 Nicely done. What a great school. Great to have the whole team.